Hi, I'm Matt Commons. I'm the lead product manager for ANSYS HFSS. And today we're going to be giving a software demonstration of our ECAD or layout based flow for the HFSS solver in our ANS ANSYS designer product. The uh, person running this uh, demonstration will be Tony Denisi out of our Boston office. I want to talk a little bit about the ECAD interface for the HFSS environment. The major driver for this was allowing users familiar with a 2.5D type of layout tool to actually use these methodologies to draw and have HFSS, our 3D tool engine, analyze the geometries. So with this interface, we can see it's a 2.5D interface with a stack up associated with it and you draw in your layers, you draw in your stack up layers and you set your materials and these are the same materials, the same, uh, same materials as HFSS. But what we have is we have a GUI now which is fully parameterizable and very easy to do basic functions like adding ports, like parameterization, uh, like moving things around. So for example, if I wanted to add a port on any one of these edges, I would just select an edge like this and just add a port. It's as easy as that. And we can look at that in our 3D view. We can look at this in 2D or 3D view and see our 3D view. Now the 3D view has functionality associated with it. We can click, drag, and we can see our HFSS ports. Right now we can see surface currents generated. These surface currents were generated by the HFSS engine. So back to the 2.5D GUI. The 2.5D GUI is now linked with the HFSS GUI and we can slide and rotate the GUI to see whatever uh, rotational view we want. Within, within the 2.5D view we also have the concept of components and subcomponents. Each of these individual pieces can be considered parameterized subcells. And if we look at the, the hierarchy in the, in the window, we can see we have a bunch of parameterized cells. Each of these parameterized cells can be monitored individually or together or be dependent on each other. For example, take a look at the arm here. I parameterized the length of the arm, and now the length of the arm is 125 mils. I can make this 100 mils and it will automatically change. Any one of these objects can be parameterizable or we could set them manually, however we'd like to do it. Vias, to add a via, it's very straightforward. You click on a via, you add a via, and you choose from what layer you want it to go from. So for right now, I could choose my top layer, which is PEC, and I could go down to my top layer, maybe any one of the layers in between, to on trace layer. Now if I wanted to look at that, sort of a 3D view, I just click and rotate and see how my via interacts. I can also select the objects in the 3D view and change where they go right in the 3D view. I mean, there's no reason why not. So we've covered adding ports, we've covered stack ups, but I wanted to point out that typically in a 2.5D tool, the dielectrics are infinite in extent. Well, in this GUI for HFSS, Drawing on the dielectric layer allows you to have sectioned dielectrics. So no worries, if we look at some of these geometries in, in the 2.5D tool, we could see some of these geometries, like this purple, this is a piece of dielectric just hanging out in the stack up. The gold is metal, the blue is metal. This hollow box, that's dielectric, which is a polyimid coating, which is on top of a bunch of different dielectrics. So adding dielectrics, adding ports, adding vias, changing the stack up, parameterization has been simplified with the 2.5D tool as opposed to having to draw everything in 3D. If we wanted to look at our 3D view and plot currents, this, uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and reopen it because I don't know what I've changed because that was a solved project. Uh, let's look at a, at a, at a bigger, uh, bigger circuit. So in this bigger circuit, for example, I want to do a, I'm going to go to PowerPoint for just a second to illustrate what I want to do. I want to do a chip with wire bonds in a package on a board. That can be easily accomplished 
in the ECAD environment by drawing all our devices. And this is a this is a 3D view. You can see this is a more complicated view. What I had before was a was a sectioned view of just the uh, of just the uh, branch line hybrid and a couple of wire bonds. But now we have a full top level circuit with. And I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn off my labels here. And if we view and zoom in, this is a full. HFSS analysis coupled with circuit analysis of a board with a chip in a package with lumped elements with bond wires all merged together.